Today I'm going to talk about art, as usual, and uh, probably going to paint some cats, we'll see. But the main thing I want to focus on here is mindfulness and staying present with the process of creativity. And this goes across the board. It isn't just about what we do with our artwork, but it is about how we move through our life moment by moment in every aspect of life. I have the type of mind, like maybe some of you can relate to, that loves to be everywhere but in the moment. Uh, it loves to be planning for the future or worrying about the past or somehow judging what I'm doing based on what I think it should be. So it's really been important to me to focus in on being mindful with what I'm doing, to be more present with life, with my artwork, with my business, with, with speaking on the camera, with petting the cats, pretty much anything goes here. And so today I just really wanted to focus in on the aspect of being mindful with our art and creativity. So I'm going to be painting some cats today and I'm gonna be talking about or bringing attention to the process of that and talking to you about where my head's at while I'm going. And maybe this will help you to be more aware while you're creating to see if there's ways you can come back to what you're doing in the moment and just really enjoying the process. You know, we all have those voices come up when we're working that try to take us down the road of this isn't good enough or I'm doing this wrong or, you know, what's the point of this? That was a favorite for me. So yeah, it's, just coming back each time that happens, noticing, oh, there my brain went, and bringing our attention back to the painting itself. And through doing this, we start to really open to the opportunity of being in flow, in the flow state of present awareness, of mindfulness, of at least less distraction. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started now with this painting. I'm gonna turn on my camera. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started now. So I've got a little bit larger piece of paper here today, and this is, um, let's see, Stonehenge Aqua Gold, Cold Press Paper by Legion. I'm using a Mimic Creative uh, Mark 10 size, and it's, it's a Mimic, so it's not actually sable, but it's sable-like. And I'm just going to start off with just wetting some areas. Uh, just just to keep this as uncontrolled as possible. I don't know really where this water is going. It's just here and there. I'm going to grab some paint and just see how that goes down on the paper from the where the wet is to where the dry is and back and forth. And there's something really cool about watching this paint spread, particularly when we just are not trying to control it. We're, we're basically just playing with paint and watching as the brush goes fatter, as it goes thinner. So this is a really cool practice in and of itself. Taking a piece of paper, wet and dry, and going back in with your brush to see how it works on the paper. Now, as far as cats go, I'm going to go ahead and create a cat in here that has pretty much nothing to do with what I just painted. But you never know how these things will work together. I'm very fond of letting stories happen while I'm creating. So this cat maybe is playing with this bunch of lines that's happening. And I'm hearing my inner critic voice saying this is a big mess and that's there and I'm continuing on with this process of adding paint to this painting. Some people think that since I've been painting a long time that you know I, I, don't, I don't have any problems with voices coming up or any kind of stuff I'm dealing with around the inner critic. And that's just simply not the case. I have a very strong inner critic and in, in what I'm doing now is noticing it, but not letting it stop me because I know what it is. All I'm doing here is playing with paint, 
moving paint around the paper and just seeing what happens. I'm, I'm not trying to make anything perfect here. And I'm using one color to keep it simple. And the point here is not to have a completely clear mind with nothing going on because that's simply not human. The point for me here is to pay attention and keep bringing my attention back. It's like a sort of a mindfulness practice at first at least until you get used to it and then it becomes more of just the way you move through life where stuff comes up in your head but you focus back in on what's actually happening now. Well, right now I'm making a painting and right now I notice I have stuff going through my head while I'm making a painting and I'm just focusing back on the painting. Another great place to put your attention when your mind is wandering is on your breathing and I like to put my attention on my nose breathing, the air moving in and out of my nose because that's just a place that it is easy for me to track it. But ultimately what I want to do is I can use that as a place to ground myself but come back to the actual paint on the paintbrush, on the paper, and paying attention there. And as those thoughts come up I just notice them going by and continue to focus back on the paper. And in this way I'm not being carried away by those thoughts that come up. I'm not being distracted by my laundry list of things I think I should be doing instead of this. I'm noticing it coming through. I'm not messing with it in any way, shape, or form. I'm paying attention once again to what I'm painting. So let's keep going. So this cat right here needs a tail as well. I'm just going to add some more color in here because I can. So I'm going to bring the dryer in now and give this a little dry and just kind of be with that process. It's kind of a nice resting point. I'm listening to the sound of the dryer. I'm watching the paint dry. So let's go for that and then I'll come back with some more painting. Okay, we're dry. And uh, my brain wants to figure out what's going on with this painting. It, it's not completely settled. It wants to, you know, go into control mode and trying to make things happen a certain way, even though right now I have no idea what will happen because I'm not actually working on it yet. I'm just being with it. So uh, this is all part of the present awareness, the mindfulness of just noticing all that that's happening in the moment. These thoughts that want to take us away, these thoughts that want to control things, they're not significant. They are a habit and we can watch those habits go through without feeling like we need to engage. And the best part about it, there is no wrong way to do this. We're not going to fail at this because we're playing here. We're seeing how paint moves. We're experiencing the brush on the paper. We're watching as things unfold before us. So if this turns out in a way that somehow I have a bunch of disappointment coming up over, when it's done, which we're not focusing on because it doesn't matter really, we're just playing, uh, then that's fine too. It's part of what I might be aware of when I'm done. And, uh, and I can look at it from that neutral noticing point of view of this mindfulness, this present awareness, without it becoming a problem that I need to fix or use as a way to determine whether I'm successful or not. So time to go back to this painting. I think it's time to put some features on these kitties and I'm going to use a white Posca pen ultra fine line. All these items I'm using are in my description notes. So I'm going to go ahead and start adding the eyes onto this art. And I'm, I'm really uh, curious right now and, and noticing the sound of this marker on this paper. 
It also kind of splatters in the, with the paper, so I noticed that as well. And I'm just going to fill in these shapes. I'll come back in with eye details. I like to use the Posca pen first and then possibly come back in with some white gouache to kind of even out the Posca pen marks. So I got that. The white gouache I use is Winsor Newton designer gouache. I, I love this paint. Uh, this is permanent white and it really does a great job of covering. Moving to a smaller one of these mimic brushes uh, so that I can have more fine line with these eyes. Oftentimes what happens when I'm bringing in some more white with a paintbrush, my control is slightly less, so my, the eyes will grow. Look at that, see? And, and I don't like this, but I'm going to just be okay with it. I can come in later and change this, or I could actually come in now and take a tissue and blob, blob out of that excess eyeball that I added. And there doesn't need to be any attention put on my judgments about what I just did. I can just notice that's coming up and continue on with my process here. Sometimes it takes several coats to get the white to cover the dark. And of course we have to feel ourselves brushing the cat hair off. I think this would be a good time to bring in some more Posca pens. So I'm going to use some orange. This is kind of a red orange I'm using in this painting so I could choose red or orange but I'm going to go for orange. Right now I have no idea where this is going still. I know that this is probably yarn that I'm making and I'm working with what I have here and there's, I can feel a sense of excitement about the possibility and I also have a sense of fear about ruining what I have. It's pretty humorous when you can look at it from the point of view of being present in the moment in your mindfulness of what's happening to see that stuff come up when we're working. When the point of this is to have fun while we're creating and our mind wants to keep going back to that place where we're, we're judging or whatever it is that pops up for you. It's habits of thought, it's conditioning. And that conditioning and habits of thought is nothing we have to give any attention to. We just notice it like anything else that's coming through our moment by moment awareness. So I'm going back to this art now and I'm just gonna keep playing, keep messing with it, keep watching thoughts come and go and staying present. This is a Statler Permanent Lumicolor black pen and I enjoy using these for details. They are permanent so they will not blend or smear when you add watercolor back on top. And of course we have to have nails on our cat. I'm going to use a bit of black now for the irises. I'm roughing them in really right now just to see where I want them to be looking. So as I'm working here, the ideas of where this is going are happening in the moment. They're really developing as I go along. I start off with the 
pretty vague idea about cats. I mess around with some puddles and then see what's happening and go through stages of being present with the, with the sound of the pens on the paper and voices going through my head and and then I just start noticing as I go along and, and this may happen for you as well particularly as you do this more often and be present with life more often you'll start to notice this that creativity is right there and sort of coaxing you as you go along it's presenting itself in the moment as you go along with new and fresh ideas. There's also the inner critic that comes up and the habit thoughts, but if we can just let those pass by without judging them or trying to do anything with them and keep focusing back on our painting process or our life in general, then those ideas start to surface as well. We start to make room to hear them because we're not following the track of those habit voices in our heads. So I, I have a little idea of something I wanna try here. It may or may not work, but let's just see what happens. These little markings on this cat came up as an idea is to sort of help distinguish that where the cat starts and ends. It also makes this cat a little different than this cat. And this cat, what I think I will do is add some stripes with a bigger brush. I'm gonna add some details into that yarn ball. Some motion marks because this is a very active painting. I think I'm getting pretty close to being done with this. It's feeling like it's wrapping up. There's no longer a sense of there's something else coming. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop here. This was, this was a fun and interesting process. And now I, I wanna carry this on to focusing in on what I'm talking to you about right now on this video in this moment. So, you know, this, this is something that we can be with every moment of our lives. Most of the time, at least for me, my mind is all over the place. I'm not present in the moment that I'm aware of. Of course, we're always present in the moment because there's really nowhere else we can be. But for the sake of this conversation, we seem to be caught up in our passing thoughts or our history or what we're worrying about or planning for the future. But we're even really doing that in the moment. So paying attention to that when it's happening are part of the way to engage back in life in the moment is to notice. Just keep noticing, being present. There's the tactile quality of the paint. There's the sound of my voice coming out of my mouth. There's looking into the camera to connect with all of you. And the whole thing is just creativity unfolding. I'm gonna be talking more about this within my business, within upcoming workshops. I'm really enjoying this process and I know it's made a huge difference in my creative life and I'm so happy to be sharing it with you. So have a fantastic day and happy creating.